Amelia Bedelia by Peggy Parrish. Amelia Bedelia. Pictures by Fritz Seiberg. This is written for Debbie and John, Walter and Michael. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work, and I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You do just what the list says, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers and he drove away. Yeah, I'll be driving away. There we go. Bye bye, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, said Amelia Bedelia. Here's, here's a thing of flowers. And I guess that's Mr. and Mrs. Rogers' parents or their parents or something. And here's the note she left on the table for them. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. These much, must be rich folks, but I must get to work. Here I stand just looking and with me a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make a lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. Look at this house. Isn't that nice? Oh, it's very pretty. There's a little plant right here too. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this a little, and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled. See, here she's mixing. I used to have one of these hand mixers. And I used to have one of these shifters too. In fact, I probably have it somewhere. How does she get the eggs in the bowl without having the eggshells in it? I don't know. She must have a lot of experience. I always put them in a separate bowl first because I know I get eggs in them. Big shells. Soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Mil Amelia Bedelia, that's done. It's pretty old fashioned. Still right there. There's the butter and there's a lemon flour mixer. Now let's see what the list says. Amelia Bedelia read, change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. Those towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. And look how it's in this handwriting. Isn't that interesting? I can read that. It's gonna be a secret code someday when people forget how to read handwriting like that. I think it's funny she's got her purse on right there. And she's gonna change the towels in the green bathroom. I think Amelia Bedelli is gonna get some crazy things happening to her. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do just what the list told her. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little here and a little there, and she changed those towels. I think she did change those towels. Look at that. There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at the list again dust the furniture. Did you ever hear tell of such a silly thing? At my house we undust the furniture, but to each his own way. So Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder on it. She still got her purse right there and right there. <laughs> the purse down Amelia Bedelia. Well, look at that, a special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. <laughs> and she's standing on the furniture while she's dusting the furniture. This is one silly woman. The next on the list, draw the drapes when the sun comes in, read Amelia Bedelia. 
She looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes. That's what it says. I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. There she is. Reading with her purse. See, she's still got her purse. So Amelia Bedelia sat right down and she drew those drapes. She drew the drapes. Amelia Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what? Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. Amelia Bedelia thought about this a minute. She switched off the lights, then she carefully unscrewed each bulb. <laughs> and, a Medilia, and Amelia Bedelia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too, just like pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. Well, I sure hope she doesn't hang a baby out on the clothesline like that, because that would be really <laughs> awkward. My pie, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the kitchen. She still has her purse, by the way. Just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. Then she looked at the list. Measure two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia found two cups. She filled them with rice, and Amelia Bedelia measured that rice. See, there she is at the tape measure. She's measuring the rice. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia laughed. Ha, ha, ha. These folks do want me to do some funny things. Then she poured the rice back into the container. There she is pouring the rice back into the container. But she knows how much, how much, how much they measured. The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box. And please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak and for a long time she said, yes, that will do nicely. An ice box is a refrigerator. At least it used to be called a uh, ice box. We used to take put ice in it. That's how they kept it cold. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and bits of ribbon and Amelia Bedelia trimmed that fat before she put the steak in the ice box. I guess that's Mr. Rogers up there. She got a box, basket of uh, ribbon. Now I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she, she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went right to work. Soon the chicken was finished. Look at that. She put, she made a little pair of shorts for it right there. Green shorts for the chicken. She's going to dress that chicken. Amelia Bedelia heard the door open. The folks are back, she said, and she rushed out to meet them. There they are, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers, coming back from wherever they were at. She got a nice jacket on there. Nice, nice little suit. Cool hat. Big flower on it. Amelia Bedelia, why are all the light bulbs outside? asked Mr. Rogers. The list just said to put the lights out, said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope they didn't get aired too long. That must have been something else to look at when you came home. Look at the dog right there. There's the dog. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia. The sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes, said Mrs. Rogers. I did, I did, see, said Amelia Bedelia. She held up her picture. There's a picture of her drawing the curtains, the picture of her where she drew the curtains. Mrs. Rogers doesn't look too happy. Then Mrs. Rogers said the furniture, saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. Oh no. Did I dust it well enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. That's such nice dusting powder. You can see little pieces of dust all over the place. Can you see all the dust? Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. He said, he called, these are very unusual towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towel, she said. Didn't I change them enough? Asked Amelia Bedelia. I like this one's got a pumpkin face on it right there. Can you see the pumpkin face on it? <laughs> Mrs. Rogers went to the kitchen. 
I'll cook the dinner. Where is the rice? I asked you to measure. She says, I put it back in the container, but I remembered. I remember it measured four and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. Now, I don't know why Mrs. Rogers still has her gloves and her hat and her, her fur coat, her mink box and everything on if she's going to go cook in the kitchen. But, you know, these are strange folks. Was the meat delivered? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, said Mrs. Uh, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said. It does look nice. Mrs. Rogers rushed to the ice box and opened it. Lace? Ribbons? Oh dear, said Mrs. Rogers. Look at that. It's got ribbons all over it. There's a little thing of milk and there's fish. I don't know why a fish is in a little, little container, but like I said, these are, these are some strange people. The chicken. You dress the chicken, asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, I found the nicest box to put him in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid, and there lay the chicken, and he was just as dressed as he could be. This is one of my favorite pictures. Look at the chicken. <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> Look at his little socks. She put little buttons on him. Oh, that's just so cute. Is it? I, I love that picture. It's one of my favorite pictures. Mrs. Rogers was angry. She was very angry. Mr. Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia she was fired, but before she could get the words out, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. It was so good, Mrs. Rogers forgot about being angry. See how he's putting food in her mouth. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you, said Amelia Bedelia happily. And so right then and there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay. And so she did. Mrs. Rogers learned to say, undust the furniture, unlight the lights, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of his steaks with the lace. There they are. I think all he cared about was having her there to make lemon meringue pie. And she still has her purse. <laughs> I hope she gets comfortable enough to be able to work there without having her purse with her. Now, what's in that purse? I kind of wonder about this. Such a nice book. Amelia Padilla by Peggy Parrish. Pictures by Fritz Seidberg. This book was written in 1963. I was a year old. And it's, and I believe it's won many um, books, um, awards, the Amelia Bedelia books. And there's a whole bunch of Amelia Bedelia books. I hope you really enjoyed this reading.